From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, March 25th of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is What's Going On. A man who pleaded guilty to a decade-old killing was sentenced in court Friday after earlier being charged with murder. 55-year-old Richard Melvin Schmitz pleaded guilty in January to second-degree manslaughter in the death of Michelle Will. Schmitz was sentenced to 10 years in prison with credit for about two and a half years' time served. Seventh Circuit Court Judge Craig Feifel sentenced Schmitz to the full sentence, saying that releasing Schmitz would be inappropriate as he continues to be a danger to the community. Schmitz was arrested in July of 2021. Legal cannabis supporters are hoping a third try will be the final one. Here's Kevin Phillips with the details. The group South Dakotans for Better Marijuana Laws is running another petition campaign across the state to once again put the issue of recreational marijuana on the ballot for voters to decide. Volunteers across the state held drive through petition drives at six locations this weekend. In Rapid City, six medical cannabis dispensaries, including Puffy's Dispensary and Green Light Dispensary, participated in an initiative to gather the required 17,508 signatures for marijuana legalization to return to the ballot in November. In national and international news, Russia observed a day of mourning on Sunday following an assault at a concert venue close to Moscow that resulted in the deaths of at least 137 individuals, including three children. ISIS has asserted responsibility for the attack, during which armed attackers stormed the Crocus City Hall as attendees gathered to watch the band picnic. Authorities have reported the detention of nearly a dozen individuals in connection to the assault. Four suspected gunmen have been formally charged with carrying out a terrorist act, an offense that carries a potential punishment of life imprisonment under the Russian criminal code. President Vladimir Putin claimed without evidence that the suspects intended to flee into Ukraine, a statement Ukraine has refuted, denying any involvement. Israel has accepted a proposal from the United States regarding a prisoner hostage exchange and is now awaiting a response from Hamas. Kevin Phillips has the story. Well, the agreement would see approximately 700 Palestinian prisoners, including 100 serving life sentences for killing Israeli children, released in exchange for 40 Israeli hostages held by Hamas in Gaza. And the proposed exchange would definitely include some American hostages, particularly men over the age of 50. Meanwhile, U.S. and Israeli officials are scheduled to convene in Washington this week as the Biden administration seeks to dissuade Israel from carrying out a planned military operation in Rafah. That's where over one million Palestinians are seeking refuge from ongoing bombardment. And today, millions of individuals in the Central Plains and the Midwest are under winter weather alerts as a potent storm looms, posing significant disruptions. The National Weather Service cautioned that travel may become nearly impossible in certain areas with the potential for icy roads and whiteout conditions. Blizzard warnings currently span from northern Colorado and Kansas to sections of Minnesota, Nebraska, and South Dakota. According to forecasts, the storm will traverse the Midwest and Great Lakes regions by Tuesday before advancing to the northeast. In the aftermath of receiving several feet of snow over the weekend, Nearly 160,000 residences and businesses in the Northeast are presently without power. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Another half inch of snow this morning with wind all day. 25 for the high, wind chill for below, overnight low 12. That was your Daily Slice for Monday, March 25th of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group. Hosted by Amy Rose with Kevin Phillips. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.